Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle video tutorial on Illustrator and the object mosaic and creating some very unusual image effects using that. So first thing to do, let's just go back to the original image. Now this is a street in London that I captured, hardly anyone around, probably during lockdown I suspect, though probably not because I was never up in London during that period. I miss London so much. Okay, what you can do with this image, you can convert it into a vector design. So object and create object mosaic. That's the key thing there. So create object mosaic. And then just go over here, zero and zero. Now you can, if you want to, have some spacing. And I'm going to go for a lot. Now you can put that up to 100. It actually takes quite a lot of processing power to do 100 by 100. But I'm going to go with 50-50 so it's a bit quicker. And also you can set the color or gray. I'm going to go with color. You can always make it gray later if you want. So delete raster. You don't have to do that if you don't. If you want to keep the original, create some interesting effects by having both as well. Up to you. But I'm going to delete it in this video. So click OK. And what happens? Yeah. See, it takes a few seconds to process. Now I've got the layers panel here. You can find that in Window and Layers, and you can expand that. You can see it's made up of lots of paths, and you can see the you can sort of make the street of London. Hopefully. Like it doesn't look like that too often. But with them all selected, what you can do, you can go to Object and Ungroup. Now you can keep them all the group if you want. But what if you can ungroup it and then group, you can actually select parts of it. So you can change, say, so if you want to, you can actually change parts of the color maybe of particular parts. So you just go across, perfectly reasonable. However, I want to select all of those. And then I want to go to Object and Transform and Transform each. And then what you can see, you can change the horizontal scale. Now, if I've got here 1%, now, and I've also, the key one here is random. So make certain the random is on. If you don't have random on, not so effective. Have random on, and you can see you can create all load of confetti designs. And obviously you can increase that, of course. Don't have to have it that low. And you can vary these sizes. Now, obviously, it's, it's got a lot of processing to do. So if you put it up too high, too whatever, you can see sometimes it does drag a bit. And also, you can change the move as well. So you can have them move them that way. Maybe push that up. You can vary. Anyway, just experiment and see what sort of effect you want. Now, of course, what you could do is you could have multiple copies of this. You don't have just one copy. And also you can change the angle. So if you don't have the angle, let's put the angle back to zero. And you can see it's sort of just a sort of rectangle is just sort of drifting over a bit and resizing. But I think the angle gives a nice touch to it as well. And you don't have to have much of an angle, four, four degrees. Maybe more than that, 40, 20, something anyway. Maybe I should have to have more than that. Give it a hundred, throw caution to the wind. So you've got your design there and you can keep playing around with the different settings and click OK and you can see your design there. Now, as I say, what you can do, let's just go back and I've got that one there selected. I can duplicate that design. So I'm just going to duplicate that design. I'm just going to move it slightly out of the way. And I'm just going to click Navigate it so I can actually navigate and select both. Now, what you can do, Obviously, you've got that selected. What I can do then, I can go to Object, Transform Each. Now, now, you can see what happens. It's a group. So, again, ungroup that. Want it all ungrouped. That's the key thing. If it suddenly all transforms together, you know you haven't ungrouped it. I do that quite often. So, Object, and then Transform, Transform Each. And then you can see it's broken down. And But what you can do, then you can click there. And you can click this one. Now, you can see, of course, that's still grouped, but you can go ungroup, and then you can go to object transform and transform each. But of course, use different settings. Now, of course, there's a lot of parts involved, and you may see it slow the machine down. You can change these, change the angle. Click OK. Now what you can do, you can move that one on top of that one. So you can see, you can, or maybe have it slightly shifted. Let's just go zoom in a bit. And you can move them around. 
Obviously, now you now what you might want to do at this point before you do any real work, you might want to group them again. Object and group. So just gonna group all those object and group. So you can move them around as one group. Otherwise, of course, you could start moving bits. You could actually have them ungrouped and then move some bits over way, move another group of that way, and so on and so on. Or maybe resize it. And you can see you can create that effect. But also what you can do, you can always go to opacity, you can go to Maybe use darken, lighten, and so on and so on. So you can create some very interesting combination of effects just using that. But what you can also do is you can go to edit menu, edit colors, and maybe recolor artwork, or adjust color palettes. I'm just gonna go with that one. But you can go, obviously change the colors, set the preview on. And again, you're processing a lot here. So Alexa, stop. Always away. Cooking something at the moment while <laughs> I'm doing a video. So what you can do, you can do that. So you can change the colors and you can then of course see them on top of there. Whole variety of different designs, great. Now I would suggest probably, unless you've got a very fast machine, you're probably best not to use an effect, especially something like a 3D effect, because it's gonna be a lot of processing to do all this. But you can see what well, you've got these images. And again, you can go to edit and edit colors and maybe recolor artwork. And again, some of these might take a bit longer to process. Obviously, this is going to be a bit more of a longer thing. But you can see the general thing. Ah, oh, did come up. And you can change the colors. Numbers. After all that, I'm going to go back with that. So you can see the sort of thing you can make all kinds of really unusual designs with this sort of thing. And of course, what you can do, you could, of course, if you want to, you could rasterize a whole lot again and maybe apply it again. Do it a couple of times, maybe object mosaic play out effects, whatever. Maybe add some gradients into the mix. Again, really depends on the power of your machine. I'm not gonna do it in a tutorial because it'll probably take a lot of processing power. Well, hope you found this tutorial of interest. Always adding new tutorials all the time about Photoshop, Illustrator, Affinity Photo, and many, many other applications. Also, if you've got any questions, please let me know. Always put some comments. Maybe I did something a bit wrong. Maybe I went too far somewhere. Please let me know. Also, a dislike or like. Now, I can go off and have my uh, dinner now. So, hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks, bye.